Hello everyone and welcome to today's quick guide on valve clearance and its adjustment. Whether you're a car enthusiast or just curious about engines, understanding valve clearance is crucial for maintaining optimal engine performance. In this short session, we'll cover what valve clearance is, why it matters, and the basic steps for adjusting it. What is valve clearance? Valve clearance refers to the gap between the camshaft's lobes and the engine's valves when they are closed. It's a small space that allows for thermal expansion and proper functioning of the valves. Correct valve clearance ensures that the valves open and close at the right times, optimizing combustion efficiency. Why is valve clearance important? Proper valve clearance is essential for a few reasons. It helps prevent valve and seat damage, ensures optimal engine power, reduces emissions, and maintains fuel efficiency. Incorrect valve clearance can lead to noisy operation, reduced performance, and even engine damage over time. Now, let's briefly go over the basic steps for adjusting valve clearance. Please note that these steps are general guidelines, and you should always refer to your vehicle's specific service manual for accurate instructions. Identify TDC, top dead center. Locate the TDC mark on the crankshaft pulley. This is where the piston is at its highest point, and both valves of a cylinder are closed. Remove necessary components. Depending on your vehicle, you might need to remove the valve cover and any other components blocking access to the valves. Measure valve clearance. Use a feeler gauge to measure the gap between the camshaft lobe and the valve. Refer to your service manual for the correct clearance specifications. Adjust valve clearance. To adjust, you may need to replace the valve shims with thicker or thinner ones, as needed. This will change the gap and achieve the correct clearance. Reassemble and test. Once adjusted, carefully reassemble all components, ensuring everything is properly secured. Start the engine and listen for any abnormal sounds. Imagine your engine as a finely choreographed dance. Timing marks are the dancer's cues. These marks, found on the crankshaft and camshaft gears, are tiny lines or notches. When the crankshaft mark lines up with a reference point on the engine block and the camshaft mark aligns with a point on the cylinder head, it's like the engine's heartbeat is perfectly synchronized. This precision matters. It ensures valves open and close at the right moment, pistons move smoothly, and fuel burns efficiently. Misaligned marks? Think of it as a dance step gone wrong, your engine's performance suffers. So, remember, these unassuming marks play a vital role in your engine's symphony. And that's the timing mark tail in under a minute. Valve clearance adjustment for SOHC 12 valve. 
Step 1 Position the number 1 cylinder at top dead center on the compression stroke. Step 2 Adjust the valve clearance at the points shown in the illustration. Step 3 Loosen the adjusting screw lock nut. Step 4 Using a feeler gauge, adjust the valve clearance by turning the adjusting screw. Standard value on cold engine intake 0.09 mm. Exhaust 0.17 mm, 5, while holding the adjusting screw with a screwdriver, tighten the lock nut. Step 6 Rotate clockwise the crankshaft 1 complete turn 360 degrees degree. Step 7 Adjust the valve clearance at points as shown in the illustration. Step 8 Repeat steps 3, 2, 5 to adjust the valve clearance of remaining valves. Step 9 With the engine mounted on vehicle, warm up the engine. Then, check for valve clearance on hot engine and adjust. If necessary. Standard value, on hot engine intake 0.20 mm exhaust 0.25 mm.